What up? Alright, so I got a little inspiration here from uh, watching Cortese. Check out this guy. This is his video on uh, basically like, the fallacy of like uh, the ideology of black and white and, and race even and getting caught up in the fucking trap and the bullshit of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna play uh, a couple things here that he has to say and it's just kind of a uh, spitball from that. So uh, if you haven't heard this before, you're welcome. If you have, like, th this shit's uh, a nice reminder. Which a lot of the times, you know, that's that's what we're doing is just kind of reminding each other of uh, what we really knew, but went along with the fucking bullshit script story that we've been fucking force-fed, essentially. So we're like, yeah, like, I feel like this is, this is real, but, you know, everyone else is going along with this, so, uh, I don't want to be an outcast, I want to be looked upon like I'm a fucking weirdo. So, you should probably just, you know, play it safe and go along with, with what everyone else is doing. Well, if you want to fucking do that, uh, you're about to find out real fucking quick where that's going to lead you. If you haven't already figured that shit out. There's enough of us out here that that's fucking telling you where the fuck that's leading. So, uh... If you want to keep not utilizing any of your fucking capabilities or capacities to fucking think for yourself, then uh, you've created your own Armageddon. Not even that, but just your own little personal hell and destruction that that you're going to be led to. Uh, Collectively, like, we've all been kind of, uh, culled into this fucking, uh, mentality of, uh, degradation and disintegration and a corruption of, uh, the human spirit and what it means to be a fucking human, what it means to be alive. So, yeah, we out here, we out here to fucking dispel all the fucking spellings and the fucking corruptions all the lies that have been propagated to help you realize what you already fucking knew from the get go what what you what you instinctively knew as at a very young age but then trauma after trauma after trauma essentially Eventually, you, you got to an age, a certain age, where the trauma stuck and it hit hard. And that's when your your so-called memory began. Because most, most people, they, they don't remember past a certain age, a very young age. That's when their memory begins. That's when, that's when the fucking trauma hit. And they just decided to go along with the fucking bullshit linguistics and the bullshit syntax and the language and the ideologies so this video is not for people that have not done any inner work uh, for themselves this is for people that have done some inner work or if they've done a lot which is basically the only people that I connect with uh, then this is just another reminder for you. That you are, you are, and for the people that may be watching this, uh, at some point in time, um, and they're kind of still on the fence or they don't really know what to believe in yet. I just want to, uh, I just want to say that 
you're not crazy, even even if everyone else around you is saying that you are, because you're actually thinking for yourself. They are the fucking crazy ones. Because they do not want to think for themselves, because it's easier to just go along with the fucking bullshit propaganda that they have been taught and indoctrinated into. If you're free-flowing and being creative and being spontaneous within a moment, that is, that is sanity. That is sanity. That is being insane. You're on the right fucking path there, if, if you haven't already realized it. Just feel it. Like, what, what feels fucking right to you? What feels best? Listen to that. <laughs> but if you knew the people in New Zealand who are aboriginals, who are the native people to the land, are not light skin color. They're dark. Because anyone who is native to the land stands on the ground, they go out in the sun, and their skin gets dark. It's that simple. If you go in the cave, your skin gets light. If you stay out of the sun and get off the soil, your skin gets light. But if you stand on the earth and get in the sun, your skin gets dark. It's that simple. It has nothing to do with anything else. <clears throat> that's, uh, that, that's so epic on so many fucking levels. And you can get caught up a bit in uh, so many different ideologies about why there are certain races, why there are certain skin colors. You can get caught up in so many uh, theories, say like uh, Norb's world in, in different realms, and I'm not saying that I know, uh, you know, that that isn't the, the case. But it, it does seem like, you know, one theory makes a lot more sense than, say, another theory. Like where, you know, on a spinning fucking ball, like spinning around the fucking sun and spinning through space. And But doesn't it make more sense? And this is always going to come back down to how much inner work people have done for themselves. The human form adapts in everything, in every way, in, in all ways, in, throughout life. Even from the most minute things of a uh, having certain postures, being in certain positions for so long, the body is going to adapt to that, to where it's, it's, it's easier to do that, and your whole skeletal structure will change. And then, say, if you're out in the sun for long periods of time, you're going, you're going to get, become darker. And then say, if you're in the shade, you're, you're going to become lighter. This is a natural adaptive process that happens, but like, as we kind of will get into a little bit here, um, this is part of the fuckery that's going on in that the whole fucking corruption, the, the whole... premise and purpose of it is to take the perceivable, the felt experience and awareness what you can see and feel for yourself and then trick everyone. At first, you know, it had to be uh, a first, and this is also something I'll get into is I just fucking read, <laughs> randomly opened up to this within one of my books. 
but but the origins is we we were a strong fucking people, strong fucking culture with the pagans and the Megans. The only way that the corruption finally sunk in was with the people that had a little bit of imbalance with their energies. Say, they were more susceptible to pride. And illusions of this sort. And little by little, we, we are where we're at today, which is a mass fucking confusion of uh, just the most simplest things that you can see and witness and experience. Conf and then, and then now we were at first, you know, it, it was little by little with the indoctrination system, but now it's a full on like confuse the kids about everything that they feel and experience. It's uh it's really beyond disgusting to witness and then also to witness so many people defending it, defending the illusions. Everyone tries to make it about these different um, groups. They like to group people into different, like uh, the Caucasians, uh, the Mongoloids, uh, the I can't think of them all now. Zet, Zet knows them. But they, they, they try to group them into these different, like, has to do with their bone structures and how they look. And say that these people were lighter than these other people. No, no, that's not how it worked. It has to do with your nationality and your culture and what your culture did. If you want to say anything, it would be the Europeans, which even at that point, people try to say Europeans are people who are this light skinned here in America, even though they came here not even knowing why the fuck they're here at this point or how they got here. Because, because who knows? Who knows what happened? They, they, they got shipped. They're the real ones that got shipped here. <laughs> we didn't come from Africa, people. We're here. It's like in New Zealand. They were there. They didn't bring Africans to New Zealand. They didn't bring Africans to fucking Australia. They were there. They're, they're just the people of the land. So they had dark skin. It's that simple. Yes. Yeah, these, the European nation which they don't want you to call them the European nation. And that's why they very much make all these other terms on top of it, because if you knew that that is what they were, then you would look at Europe and the people that are in Europe and see that the people who are in control in Europe are the ones who came and took over the lands. There's a lot more to that, but... That, that is, in essence... Yeah, and essentially he's talking about what the fuck is on your, uh, your dollar bill. Where did it begin from? Where, where did the control structure begin from? Where did this monopoly fucking currency bullshit capitalism ideology stem from? We're going to get into this. Oh, we're going to get into this, all right. I have some stories to share, and I'm just going to offer them up. So it's it's up to you what you feel from these stories. Probably not going to be this one, this video, but I'm just letting y'all know where this is heading, and that's to. Uh, the the true root causalities of why things are the way they are. Because like Core will say here, uh, they want you to only focus on the top part of the pyramid. 
and, and not focus on the fucking set the 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 depths the the root system which is where everything stems from you control the root system of anything then you control everything the the fruit you convince people that the fruit is all that exists then you control everything about that realm because you've completely confused the people of how things are the way they are how they got to be that way how they grow into what they are this wasn't inherent inherently like this people What has happened, in a sense? And if people knew that, it's a war of nations, not a war of color. It's a war of culture. Yes. And cultural irrelevance and people thinking that they are better than another culture for their own psychopath issues. Yes. In their mind, they wouldn't be going this way. People would not be going along with this black and white thing because it is complete bullshit. It's bullshit. It, it doesn't exist. It does not exist in the way that people uh, are are allowing this to to go about. If we want to look at it in any way, it it always has to be a social status level. Because the what people like to say elite like to make it look like they're on top so that everyone else feels like they're on the bottom. At the same time, they split everyone down on the bottom so that the people on the bottom don't realize that we got what what is it, ninety five to ninety nine percent of people in the population. And I also want to kind of send a shout out to uh, Divine Hazel with this because uh, if any of you have any interactions with Divine Hazel, you'll, you'll, you'll probably know that uh, she, she likes the, the saying that there's a lot more of us than there are of them. And then when you, when, whenever you read that, you know, as with everything, you can take it in so many different ways. So, uh, them, like who are, who, which of them are, are we speaking of? Are we speaking upon the, the people that have uh, done a little bit of inner work or a lot bit of inner work? Compared to uh, the so-called sheeple or the fucking zombies that are everywhere, because if if that is the them, then um, yeah, there there's a huge uh, mistaken concept there because the crazies are out and about the crazy zombie fucking numbed up and dumbed down people outnumber the fucking people waking up or the people that have been woken up uh, a great deal and that's that's also a large part of why things are the way they are is because uh, most people nowadays are, are aren't even really and I don't I don't want to sound completely Uh, cruel or mean or whatever, but at the same time, I, I, I'm, I'm so far beyond giving a fuck. So, most of the so-called people in today's world are not uh, humans uh, in any sense of the word. They're uh, much more likened to bio-robots that function on pre-programmed uh, codes and there's very little about them that is really human but say if divine hazel is saying uh you know and it's kind of like what core was saying like the foundation here on the ground level uh the people that are actually doing the work on the ground level, connecting with the earth, there's a lot more of us than there are of 
the people so-called at the tippy top of the pyramid the people that think they're running the game then yeah there, there absolutely is because the, the people at the top there's not very many of them at all for for a very specific purpose because that's how the design was laid out but um once again though uh does that really matter in the sense that uh what which what is more important like what what do you what do you reckon is more important quality or quantity would you take one human that knows how that knows the inner workings and the esoterics of nature how to potentially control a nation with simple, simply images and words and ideas? Or would you take an army of ignorant uh, followers that only know how to do what they're told? Quality or quantity? Yes, we're all thinking we're divided because of all these different little interest intricacies that make us actually who we are an original instead of being just black just white just african <laughs> this is what makes us original is these differences these intermixings that we have had it has nothing to do with the skin tone that you have in this moment it has to do with where you stand and what people you stand with and if you can't stand with everyone, you, you ain't a person of the people. What are you doing in this world? If, if you're trying to separate black people from white people because you think that black people have some type of endowment because you've been listening to things that tell you that because you're it's propaganda. It's just not in the news. Thank you. It's, it's all over the internet. It's been, it's been spread all over the internet because that's how the system works. It comes from one person up top and they say, okay, this is what we're going to do. Everyone go and do, everyone go and make this happen. And it, and it happens because they have power over these other people. They have mind control over, the, over these other people. Yeah. And, and this is the uh, pyramid system. This is the very essence of it. it it's the people that are really running the show. They, they have perfected their art in such a way that anyone, even at the second level, and then all the way down, that think they're part of the fucking pyramid, they, they, they have no fucking clue of who is really running the show. It's all decompartmentalized and... Uh, The energies of, like, uh, say, an over-egotistical person, or pride, or uh, greed, jealousy, these, these are the, uh, the things that the people at the top pull upon so that they can control everyone within their little pyramid scheme, which is all of the world right now we are within a pyramid you think you thought the world was round you thought it was a, a a ball a ball you thought it was flat no it certainly looks flat i certainly don't see a curvature their 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 uh measurements don't really add up whenever you go and look look for your fucking self but no no not even this We've been inside of a fucking pyramid this whole time. And not even... And when I say pyramid, I just mean that top half. They've split the diamond in half and then made you believe that there's only one half. And then uh, if you think there's another half, then oh, that's that's the enemy, you know. It's, it's always going to be this or that or us or them. White or black.
friend or foe. So the, uh, the cap of the pyramid has busted open and now the, uh, the people that originally ran the show, <coughs> they, are tr they are attempting to go along with what they have been shown is, is true essence. And, and if I go into that any farther, uh, words aren't going to be able to really convey uh, precisely uh, what's going on here. So all I'm going to say is the people at the top have uh, let go of the reins because they've finally been made to realize their folly in trying to control everyone. But... The resounding message is... We've already created a monster, and it's it's out of our hands. Like we we don't have control of this anymore, which is definitely not inaccurate uh, at all. And and we're we're seeing the disintegration at the same time, the strengthening of this uh, beast system, this this pyramid beast corruption illusion system. We're seeing it at one point uh, fall away with, with people waking up, but then at, at another point we're seeing where it has its claws dug in to our, uh, if you want to call it a culture, or a, or a corrupted culture. The Truman Show, where it has its claws dug in, so it, its, control, its control mechanisms, uh, how it uses the media, how it's how it's utilizing its its uh, tools to uh, play the strings of all the puppets. So we are being able to see uh, basically they're outing themselves because they're trying to regain control that they have lost so more and more people are able to see how the control structure has been propagated and the uh the roots of it essentially we're, we're finally digging up the fucking roots and cleaning the fucking roots So that we can actually grow and have a strong and firm foundation of who we are, where we came from, what our, if you want to call it a purpose, but really it's just beingness, uh, being grounded in your fucking beingness. And that is your fucking purpose. That is your only purpose. As all of our only purposes is to be grounded in the knowingness of who and what we are and then just live. And whatever happens, happens. But doing so from a place of clarity and truth and not disillusionment. And they end up trickling that down and controlling the mind of the people who are on seemingly the bottom, even though the bottom is really the top because it's the biggest. Because yep. if you knew... The pyramids just don't go above ground, they actually go underground as a diamond. Yep. The reflection of it. And if you're at the base, you're actually in control of the whole fucking thing. Yet they hide the fact from you that there's something below the ground so that you have so that you look up and think that that's where everything comes from, because everything doesn't come from the sun. What's below your feet? The ground. If that ground wasn't there, you would have nowhere to stand. You would have nothing to stare up at. Foundations. You see, uh, you see people talking about uh, sun worshippers or or Wiccans or pagans, the evil pagans.
this is uh, multifaceted and uh, it is dualistic in a nature that one essence provides one mass of collected and it is a collective energy provides the emanations and, and this is also something we'll get into a little bit later uh, what what the spheres really are they are they're actually mirrors and they're mirroring emanations of human humanity because uh, if you haven't already noticed or realized humans are the fucking shit uh, in this fucking universe we are the thing that is idolized and um, also parasited from we are the anomaly and, and the thing that all other energies in the universe want to figure out and uh, this is also a large part of why we are in the situation we are in right now we are our whole fucking reality and past has been occulted. But yes, um, you have to have both. You have to have both the the energy that that brings forth growth and clarity and what are the words it sanitizes it purifies it it allows growth it encourages growth because of love it reflects our own love we have within ourselves back onto all of us and the planet and all of our environment around us but that means nothing without the foundations without the earth without the thing that can grow from the thing aiding in the growth you have to have the foundations and you and you have to have a clear foundation an uncorrupted root system a healthy culture a healthy balanced knowingness of the true causalities of why of how things really work thinking that someone's above you. Everyone on the ground is you. This is why they built these tall ass skyscrapers out of steel, stealing your energy, big ass antennas, looking over you so that you feel like, wow, they're way up there. They, they did something really good. They, they, they know something. They're smart. No, they're not smart. <laughs> they're manipulated. That's mm -hmm. it. They know how to fuck with people's minds. It makes them complete psychopaths in the same time. Yeah, and uh, if, you, if you haven't really caught on yet, this is all a game, and, and basically it's about magicians and tricking your perception, your ability to perceive your own reality. This is essentially what it all comes down to. And this is why some of us out here are, are spreading the word to fucking cleanse your lens, to do the inner work, clean your fucking body out, then you'll have a clearer perception of what is so-called outside of yourself. Because really it's all connected, as within, so without. Do the inner work within, and you will see that reflected to you without. It has nothing to do with fucking diet. has to do with getting clear, getting real, getting, getting raw, but without the W, get, getting into the sun, but grounded to the earth. Souls on the soil. Don't let your spirits spoil. 
because they're, they're children. They're, they don't know any better, apparently, because they keep doing it. Because I, I don't think anyone in their right sense and feeling of mind and themselves would feel the need to push themselves on anyone else ever. Yeah, and that's... Uh, he said it in a, <laughs> in a nice way, uh, which is essentially what it is. Uh, uh, the man child, which is basically the uh, adult, the uh, which is a adult. Uh, the children are having children, and no one's ever really growing up, as in taking responsibility for themselves for the things that they do. But instead, just you know, making up excuses, pushing the responsibility on someone else. Oh, the doctors will take care of the health. Oh, you know. The insurance and oh, uh, the, the the car mechanic will take care of my uh, vehicle. They they're keeping uh, humanity. And when I say they, I just mean the people at the very top of the pyramid that aren't even there anymore because they 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 fucking ran away. So now it's just the fucking. Uh, bullshit uh beast system uh trying attempting to carry out its 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 uh original objective which we are quickly approaching upon but we are also creating a bridge so that not all of us have to go down that path. Some of us can come back to the garden within and without. But yes, essentially, uh, most everyone like you come across nowadays, it, it's uh, a very childlike mindset, and not even in in the good, the beneficial way, which is you know. You want to have a childlike mindset whenever you're learning, whenever you're uh, approached with something new. It, it is very wise to have a childlike mindset where you're able to absorb, where you're able to get out of your fucking head and just absorb your surroundings and the situation and the knowledge and the gnosis. You ground into that. But... The issue arises where people don't have any real guidance anymore. So it's these young, uh, you can call them young energies, as in they have not been understood yet. The energies that, you know, we're supposed to fucking transmute and we're supposed to have true adults, not dolts, teaching us how to transmute these energies, how to harmonize them and be true hue-mans and, and men and woe-mans of many hues, of all the hues and all the colors. How to balance, this, this is a realm of balance, and we have been imbalanced for quite a while now. There'd, there'd be no need to, especially your own children. Which, if you feel, if someone feels that they're your parents because they're above you, they're, they're, they're your enemy. They're, yeah. They're your en en enemy. Yeah. Enemy. <laughs> a parent is a partner. A parent helps you. A parent stands next to you. They don't try to tell you to go this way or that way. They just they help. They, not not and not just guide, but they they allow you to make the mistakes for yourself and learn for yourself. But but they know enough to know. Not just the correct path, but you guys, there's not really a correct path, but to know, to be able to see where you're heading, but to let you get there on your own. And if you, if the, if the child requests, if the child is in need of guidance, to allow the child to come to them, then that's when they offer 
their their wisdom but then also you know it comes down to offering it in a way that is not telling them this is how it is saying well you could approach things this way it's a lot it's, it's allowing the child to learn for themselves giving little hints and guidances where you can to help guide them towards a path of what they really are their their own truth within themselves that's, that's the best we can fucking do is to help them realize what is within them their their crazy vast potential of what they really are cuz you have if you haven't fucking figured it out yet your children are your goddamn teachers you go somewhere so that you can actually have a free mind and choose where you want to go. And that is not what happens in this black or white societal culture that has been created. You are sheep being pushed and prodded and branded into certain directions so that you fall into the traps and tribulations that everyone has been falling into for the past 200 years at this point since this country has been taken over. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and he's kind of uh, hinting at like mud flood stuff, but uh, really it's about touch, tad bit, maybe just a little, a little dot over a million years. That's where we're at right now. All right, let's see if we can get to where I wanted to get originally with this, so that we can not make this super fucking long. And all of the uh, other countries within that. Because they know the system that has been created. They need to make sure that they cross their T's and dot their I's so that when... Yeah. They have to reinforce the it's. Did, have you guys got that yet? Dot the, the, dot the I's and cross the T's? Because whenever you have the it, you have the object. You are objectifying the life and the nature. You are uh, re you are supporting the idea of that something is dead. Whenever you know th that that is a dead word and that it doesn't exist. There's no such thing. There's just transmutation. There's only er ever energy and spirit and a cognizance within this. You come and say, you're wrong that they're just going to show you this piece of paper and say, no, you signed this. You, you did this. What are you doing? The court is nothing more than what you play basketball, tennis, and many other sports on. It was a game. It's all it is. <laughs> yeah, and he was talking about the court system here and how that's, you know, within our legalese bullshit system, how you can look at our fucking so-called culture and that's... Uh, prolifer prolifer proliferated <laughs> and spread out uh, all throughout uh, the corruption and, and you know, liken it to a fucking octopus that has its tentacles spread out all throughout. So we're seeing the certain degrees of the manifestations of this all throughout our so-called culture or corrupted culture. Yeah. And people are losing at this game because they're too busy following all this bullshit out in front of them. They're not understanding what the game is. And, and the true <sighs> linguistics and what, what it really means. The etymology of the language and the spells that they're casting upon themselves. In the sun and they got dark skin. It's something higher. It's all ridiculous. My battery's running low. I gotta get to this. Uh, where's it at? Okay, okay, we're almost there. And just telling them what you were told. Stop this. Is to teach the kids. Teach the kids. Okay, okay, okay. That keeps people looking up and believing in something higher. Almost there. They came from, so that you don't know where they came from, so that they can keep their identity separate, so that they can... Keep control of this governmental bank 
church religion based system that keeps people looking up and believing in something higher yeah and essentially you know what the intent there or what he's saying is just the illusion system how, how that works uh, keeping you distracted from the true causalities of why things are the way they are so that they can keep manipulating fucking people. It's all ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. Not, not, not even having your eye on the prize, but having your eye on the ball, having your eye on the the ball that they created that they're telling you is real. Focus on this ball. Focus on this. This is what's real. Whenever you're holding the fucking apple and the life within you, but also, you know, you're standing on the fucking ground and the earth. So you're like, no, this is real. I can smell it. I can taste it. I can feel it. I, I can interact with the life here. No, 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 no. That's, that's not fucking real. This ball here, this, this one that we created, this is the fucking reality. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess if everyone else is going along with it, then I guess if my parents and their parents went along with it, then... And uh, I should probably do that too. Otherwise, you know, I'm just going to be seen as a crazy person. And that's not going to be good for me. And the way to stop this is to teach the kids. Teach the kids where they actually come from. where they, Who they actually are. Stop lying to them and just telling them what you were told in school and actually... Go and figure something out so that you can actually facilitate some uh, proper information to them that they can use to free their mind instead of them feeling stuck that they're, I don't know who I am because apparently I came from across an ocean that I've never even seen before. Yeah, and now we're to the point where it's like, uh, I don't even know who I am because I'm taught that, you know, there's no such thing as really gender anymore. It's got to such an extreme where it's, it's very... Uh, it's just fucking crazy, and if you get caught up into it, you're gonna get, you know, even more and more depressed because it's it's really fucking, we're we're really on the fucking uh, psycho circus merry-go-round here, people, and we're on we're on the high spin. It's 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 really fucking going right now, but what what I wanted to say, what I wanted to end this with is uh, what what he, what core here said, is that uh. How we stop this is that we we realize our foundations and we realize what what the fucking children are, what who they really are. We realize we realize not just how to raise them, but how to allow them to learn for themselves, get out of their way, not not just teach them the right things, allow them to learn for themselves. Because they already have the inner, the, they already have the essence within them. They already know what, what to do. They already know what, how to engage and how to play and how to make the connections with nature, within themselves, their own inner nature, and without. They already have that. We just got to get out of the fucking way and allow that. Nurture that nature, and then maybe you can actually start to really learn from your children people listen to the messages that they're telling you even just from from the get-go right out the fucking gates immediately they have so much to fucking teach you as infants immediately and for women immediately within the womb they and, and for people that are very intuitive and empathic you already know you are you're very much in communion with with your child within So yeah, we'll end it here before I run out of battery, <laughs> which is close. Um, get back to your own inner roots, what grounds you, what makes you feel most alive. Engage this. Clear away the obscene and the bullshit inside of you. See clearly without. See all the lies for what they are. Realize what you are. Peace.